Hello there, and today in this video, I'm going to show you some steps to get to 1000 ELO in speed chess or bullet chess. And if you already are above 1000 like me, I'm 12-12, uh, then you can just watch this and get some tips which you didn't know before. So let's start. So for the pointers which I've got, so the first thing, I'll just show you a game of how I play, and you can, then I'll talk about some points. So the first thing is, we need to try and play quick. Even if you accidentally hang a piece like that, you just pre-move this. As you can see, I'm already up on time, which is good. But don't, you need to try not to hang major pieces. So you need to try and open up things just really quickly. You can do pawn moves very nicely. And you can do trades like this. Trades are the quick, easiest thing to play in chess. In this um, format, sir. You need to think about what they're going to play next, like that, and then yeah, and then you block a king because they're going to, they're going to give checks on there. You have to think, what do I do? I get the isolated pawns, and then you accidentally hang your rook. That's fine. And then when they give that check, just move about there. Even if they don't give that check, it's okay. Keep your rook on the seventh rank. You need to monitor. You hope for a draw. Well, you don't. Well, you need to try and hope for a draw. And then you attack. Really, what I'm saying is, you need to keep your rook on the seventh rank and uh, get everything else. To be honest, even if you have to get a pawn like that, um. I might lose this game, by the way. So, uh, this isn't. Uh, these aren't re really reliable tips. This is just some stuff that I do. So, and by the way, I do usually win on time. So, maybe you could say it's lucky for me. So, if you don't want to play like this, don't worry. It's just how I play. See, now I'm 19 seconds up, and he. Look how many seconds the other player has. So I can play very slowly, nice and easily, although I am slightly stalemated now. Not slightly, I am stalemated. Now see, this is this bit is easy to play now. Except when you're in there, except when this bit is. This is usually when I lose, unfortunately. And this is a good way. And this is where I get stalemated. And it was a draw. Okay, so that's how I play chess. Okay, I think I need to show you another one. Okay, so, yeah, let's play another one. Just for me to show you. Okay, so just play normal openings. Think of... If that accidentally happens, it's fine. Just try and get centre pawn, usually. Centre pawn, protect the pawn. Even if, even if your bishop's passive, it's fine. Just give a surprise check. They'll lose time, take damage to structure, and even if you even if you could have won material, it's fine. As you can see, we're up material in this part, and then you can come up here. They hopefully shouldn't be taking. You could say I could have played that, but of course they could have just omplanted. Isn't the best move uh, for me. <laughs> As it is a good move. And then what can I play now? Do you think? How do I get one thing? So, you have to keep two things in the back rank. Or I can just play this. Or I can just hang my rook. As I said, this isn't very reliable. So you can try and play like this. Take. And then... Oh, whoopsies. Yeah, and then now you need to try and get... He's going to play something pro proactive. And then, I think moving your king is the easiest way to play this part. Even if he wins that, it's fine. Oh. Or not. Sometimes they can just do this. And then we need to get a good structure. It's fine. Win his pawns, win his pawns, win his pawns. Quick, 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 quick. He might sacrifice his rock now. He's going to sack it now. Yeah. Oh. 
See, stuff like this happens. And he's gonna check and take now. I'm presuming. Yeah, this is usually how I end. Except I win on time, which is why I was telling you. Okay, we will... No. It's okay, let's ignore this. Okay, so... So I think what you've come up with is basically... One minute, I'm just looking. Okay. So it's... So we need to pre-move and try and pre-move when there's captures. Play quickly. If you lose a minor piece, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, well, when there's, you need a bit of luck in this, I would say. I'll show you one. Even if you don't know the Sicilian, it's fine. If you do know the Sicilian, perfect. Because then you can get a good position from this, can't you? Even if you know only a few lines. I know a few lines. I don't really understand the open Sicilian, for example. Like you can take now. And you can get the file. Oh, oh no. You accidentally you lose your bishop. So what? You're up on the clock. Look at this. Look at this. Went 11 seconds off on the clock, and this is how usually I win the games. Hopefully, you guys can win the games as well, like this. Now, what would I do? Probably try and trade the good bishop. Because it's controlling so many squares. Look at this passive bishop. Or useful bishop, you could call it. Now take. Unless they don't take. In which case, you can just... And then you can try to blob. And then you move back. Oh. Not the best ending for me. Oh no. So, okay. We need to try and break open somewhere. We'll just go for that. Okay, we have to protect this back. This back, the rank. Oh. What do I play now? I get into that rank. Oh, should have gone on the sixth rank. See, some things you can try and do to try and get your gameplay a bit better. See, now we can't protect all the pawns, so it's more difficult for him. Takes that. Yeah, so you can forward with the king now. But remember, you've got everything, and look at this clock. Look at the clock. Look at that clock. And you win. That's how you win a game. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I gave some good tips. See you in the next video. V-Chess out.